take the opportunity to kick Fianna Gael and Labour out of office and to deliver a fair recovery for all. Yeah. For me, <laughs> I now have the privilege to introduce our next speaker. Uh, our next speaker is a member of a newly elected government in Greece, and which in the last few weeks have shown... has shown how you stand up for your people and what they have also shown they have shown the Irish government for what they are which is nothing but a cowardly bunch of yes men so can you please please give a warm welcome for alternative minister Euclid Sakhalopoulos It is an honour and a privilege to address your conference today. I start by apologising for my English accent, but I can, in mitigating circumstances, I am married to a Celt. So I hope that <laughs> our peoples have a lot in common. Indeed, for most Greeks, it is no exaggeration to say that the Irish are honorary southerners. Please accept the warm greetings of the first for many years government of the left in Europe and of Alexis Tsipras, Prime Minister of the Coalition Government and leader of Syriza. Syriza and Sinn Féin, as well as others as Podemos, are part of a great realignment in European politics that has become apparent over the last couple of years. That realignment is a necessity exactly because we have such a crisis in the existing arrangements. Existing arrangements in which traditional parties are unable to address effectively their social base on an agenda of wages, jobs and welfare. Of course, those arguing against any realignment, those that, I that is, that have most to lose from any such change, convict us all on the charge of populism needless to say, without any tra trial. They have mistaken populism with the popular. They do not want to believe, because it is not in their interest to believe, that the needs of the many and equality agenda in an economic crisis can be part of the solution and not part of the problem. The Greek government... <laughs> the Greek government is committed to such an agenda. We are addressing the humanitarian crisis, which has been a direct consequence of the structural adjustment programs. We know that no reform program can work within a context of extreme recession, poverty, and all this entails for the uncertainty and fear amongst common people. We are progressing with an ambitious program of reforms to address tax evasion. Greek elites pay taxes on a voluntary basis up to now. On a on an agenda of corruption, on public administration, and as well the needs of the real economy. We will be seeking to negotiate a new deal to address Greece's non-sustainable debt. No economy that has lost a quarter of its GDP, has 25% of its population unemployed and over 50% of its young people unemployed, and has one-third of its population facing extreme poverty, can be expected to repay its debt with a succession of years of very high primary surpluses. For all this, we need the solidarity of European peoples. Some European governments will be arguing that we should not give problematic Greeks special treatment. But you know that we are not asking for special treatment, but for equal treatment in a Europe of equals. Greece... Greece has had the biggest per capita fiscal adjustment of any economy since the crisis began. Hardly special treatment, especially when you consider that the bailout was more to serve northern banks than southern peoples. But you should also know that the... But you should also know that the arguments of such governments have nothing to do with their view of Greeks. Their fear of Syriza has more to do with the fear of the aspirations of their own people for social justice and a new model of socially inclusive development. It is you that they fear, not us.
For all this, we need the solidarity of Europeans. We have difficult times ahead. We, we have much to learn from each other and every reason to believe that solidarity, cooperation and learning from each other can begin to change the difficult obstacles that our people face. In 2004, Syriza just managed to get into Parliament passing the 3% uh, vote threshold. Now we are in government. It is time to believe that politics can make a difference, that we do not have to accept the status quo. I am sure that the Irish people will draw the right conclusion about not only the dives desirability of change, but its fe feasibility. You have nothing to fear but fear itself. Let me... <laughs> and I have not noticed any fear among Sinn Féin delegates in this conference. <laughs> Let me wish you every possible success in your conference, every possible success in the social and political struggles that you face on the months to come. We will either all win together or all fall together. It is the togetherness that may ensure that victory is closer than we think. Let us make change all together. Thank you very much.